Welcome to a story you will only see on 9. KTSM investigating multiple crimes, including a death and drug offenses happening in one massive mansion in Far East El Paso. Now, that mansion in the middle of nowhere caught our attention. Our crews combing through literally hundreds of federal court documents to find the owner of the home. And we discovered he's actually a convicted cocaine trafficker with references to the Sinaloa drug cartel. KTSM 9 News reporter Shelby Cap files this report. Letting we saw a aerial shot of the home located on 5081 Fort Defiance. The property owner listed, according to the El Paso Central Appraisal District, is Raul Chavez, who is currently behind bars, sentenced to 14 years after a federal jury found him guilty of heading a cocaine trafficking operation that smuggled cocaine from Mexico into El Paso and then transported it to Connecticut. Now that's according to the Department of Justice. Court documents show at the time of his arrest, he lived at 5081. One Fort Defiance Road in El Paso. The same house where the El Paso County Sheriff say 20 incidents have happened just this year. Over the weekend, 21 year old Cisco Rodriguez of El Paso died after being shot, and 18 year old Isaac Carlos was arrested for his death. But before the shooting, the two had been at a mansion party at 5081 Fort Defiance. Other incidents at the house this year include six drug offenses, four driving while intoxicated, two aggravated assaults, three assaults, four injured parties, and more. The sheriff's office says that teenagers and early 20-year-olds are being targeted for parties which invites are being shared on social media. The sheriff's office is working with local law enforcement agencies to address the issues happening at 5081 Fort Defiance and warning parents to monitor their children's social media and to understand the dangers of going to these parties, calling it, quote, a life or death situation. And once again, that was Shelby Cap reporting.